When I have a patient come in to me with an eyelid problem, I really separate it into three broad categories. I not only look at the eyelid, but I look at the eyebrow, I look at how much redundant skin is on the upper lid, and I look at the relationship of the eyelashes to the colored part of the eye, or the iris, where the lid sits in relationship to the iris, or even the pupil, the center part of the vision. And all three of those components can have um, a droopy, can lead to a droopy eyelid. So you can have a droopy eyebrow that leads to a droopy eyelid. You can have redundant skin that leads to a droopy eyelid. Or you can have a low eyelid margin or where the lashes come out of the eyelid lead to a droopy eyelid. And a patient may have all three. They may have one. They may have two. They, and so we need to address the problem. And so I, during our visit, I try and educate the patient on what their exact problem is. So is their eyebrow the, the problem, is their droopy eyelid skin the problem, or is it the eyelid margin that's the problem? And sometimes patients are surprised. They may come in saying, I just have all this redundant skin in my upper eyelid, but really it's their eyebrow that's low. And so we need to address uh, where the problem lies to correct the problem surgically.